You're still up? Oh man. Well, listen, if you're still up, I'm going to share with you the four things that are robbing you of a restful night's sleep. And if you don't already know me, my name is Dr. Mel and I stand for a world where success and authenticity in all aspects of your life live in harmony. And before you continue in this video, make sure you comment, like, and subscribe to my channel to feed my ego, obviously. I'm just kidding. But honestly, I want you to be the first to know when I go live and when I put new videos out there so that you can go from surviving and suffering to thriving from the inside out in your health and your life. So listen, it's not just about sleep here. It's about so much more than that. We know that the world is chronically fatigued, exhausted all the time, and literally living off of coffee or anything to keep them up at night. And this comes down to your ability to have energy for your work, for your friends, for your family, and not just live for the weekend so that you can have energy and thriving vitality from the inside out to do what you love so you're not just dragging through the day. And this comes from an experience that I had earlier this year in January of 2020 when I was at the Oprah show where there's all these men and women who are all about positivity and health and vitality. They get together and Oprah asked this one very important question. She asked the audience, how many of you either get less than six hours of sleep or are chronically fatigued every single day? And do you know how much of the audience raised their hand? I kid you not, 70 5%. My jaw dropped to the floor. I looked around and I was shocked. And mind you, this is at the XL Stadium in Minneapolis where there's over 20,000 people plus. So I'm sitting there thinking, man, what can we do? Because I really believe in a world where we can have optimal physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual health and vitality from the inside out. I believe that it's our given birthright. So I wanna share with you four tips and four things that are actually robbing you of a restful night's sleep and what to do. <laughs> it's late, I need to get to bed. Four things and what to do about it, okay? And then it's bedtime for me. So here we go. Number one, too much. Numero uno, because I'm practicing my Spanish. Too much technology leading up until bed. For example, me right now, it's 10 o'clock at night. I'm supposed to be in bed. Too much technology. What do I mean by that? Too much blue light, the type of waves that, the type of vision waves that come out of your phone, your TV, any technology that you're using, that blue light that's emitted into our brain actually decreases melatonin. And melatonin is a very powerful neurochemical that's needed to actually bring us into our sleep and our restful circadian rhythms. So my suggestion, ditch the tech 30 minutes before bed. If you're looking to go to bed at 10, ditch the tech by 9.30, read a book, tune down the lights. I promise you this is going to help not only from a physical standpoint, but our neuroemotional standpoint as well. Number two. Now this one's tough, my friends, for those of you entrepreneurs out there and people who work, 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 work. Number two is you're eating too close to your bedtime. And I know that can be hard when you don't get off work until late or you have that craving late at night, right? I get it. I'm a foodie. I totally get it. Number two, though, is you're eating too close to when you want to go to bed. So my suggestion, try to eat three hours before you actually want to fall asleep. Number one, that allows you to actually have a second wave of digestion between the 11 p.m. and the 3 a.m. hour, which actually can support your waistline. And number two, if you are hungry, eat a snack something that's protein rich. So what my go-to is nuts. I like to have hard boiled eggs. I like to have maybe some kimchi or sauerkraut, something that's very light and easy to digest. So that way you digest your full meal. And in that second part of the evening, you actually get a second wave of digestion. And this is important because rest and restful sleep and recovery 
Your body doesn't want to be processing all that food you just ate, right? Your body wants to be working on things you integrated from the day, things you learned from the day, and if you lifted or if you exercised, sleep is a really important time that your body rebuilds cells. So we want to divert that energy from your gut and have a clear gut when you go to bed so it can focus on rebuilding other things from the inside out and you can wake up rested and rejuvenated the next morning. So that's number two. Number three, you don't have a transition from your work to your restful evening. And this can be right away when you get home, or this can be, if you're like me, sometimes you do work when you get home. It's really important to have that transition. So develop some sort of transition. For me, it's turning on the lights, turning out the lights. It's really starting getting, getting into my evening routine. So I like to do brush my teeth, floss, read a little bit, do some breath work. I really like to have that transition so my brain and my body knows I'm going from relaxation, from work to relaxation. And last but not least, number four is making sure that you are not in that fight or flight, go, 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 going 100 miles an hour, which is similar to what I just talked to. One of the things I love to do about this and to help is to do some deep breathing exercise. So inhaling and exhaling long exhale. And that really helps, breath really is the best way to calm your central nerve system. So in recap, to get that restful night's sleep and stop self-sabotaging yourself, one, make sure that you ditch the blue light, ditch the technology. Number two, as you can see, I'm looking at my notes. Number two, make sure that you don't eat too close to your bedtime. Number three, make sure you have a transition, get into a nice routine that your brain knows, hey, we're starting to calm down. Number four, try some deep breathing. I promise you it makes a huge difference. This is Dr. Mel. I wish you a restful night's sleep and I'll see you in the next video.